Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session of questions for this morning. By the grace of God, we're looking at the topic fasting and prayers set for a flight. Topic fasting and prayers set for a flight. Oops, my arms held like a key. Text taken from the book of Isaiah 58, from verse 6 down to 11. That's our anchor scripture for this month. Isaiah 58, from verse 6 down to 11. But let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, come say thank you for an opportunity to see a brand new year. Come say thank you for an opportunity to have breath in our nostrils. Thank you for strength. Thank you for stamina. It is a privilege to appear before you this morning. We've come to hear from you, but we are speak to us and grant us understanding. Send us your word with power. You sent your word unto Jacob and enlightened unto a great nation called Israel today. Father, send the word into our heart. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic one more time. We're looking at fasting and prayer set for a flight. Fasting and prayer set for a flight. Post look at key. Text taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 6 down to 11. I read from verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy bodies, and to let the oppressed go free? And let your praise go free and to and that ye break every yoke and verse it said, then shall the light break forth as the morning, and the hell shall spring forth as the hell shall spring forth before thee. He said, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, the glory of the Lord shall be thy renewed. He said verse eight. Then shall the light Break forth as the light. I take that again. Verse 9 he said, Then shalt thou call. Verse 9, then thou shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here am I. If thou take away from thee the mist, from the yoke, the putting forth of finger, and speaking vanity. That's 11 said, And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make thy bones. And make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. But the Lord bless his word, ground us understanding in Jesus' name for that again. Esther chapter 4, from verse 8 down to 17. You well know the story, I may not be able to read or skip some verses. He said, And also he gave a copy of the writing of the decree that was given to Susan to destroy them. To show it unto Queen Esther, and to declare it unto her, to charge her that she should know that she should go on to the king to make supplication unto him, and to make request before him for her people. And Achal came and told Esther the words of Mordecai, for thou in verse fourteen, for if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall there enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place, but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time? And of course, Esther said she wants to fast in verse 16. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Susan and fast ye for me. Look at that again for emphasis. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Susan and fast ye for me. And neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my millions who fast likewise. And so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. So my prayer went his way. And it's according to all that Esther have commanded him. And we all know the end of the story in chapter 5. Now it came to pass on the third day, that's called the third day of her fast, that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house, over against the house. And of course, she and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house and of course and it said in verse 2 and it was so when king saw esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out to esther the golden scepter that was in her hand so esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter and the king asked what do you want and she told him she won said in verse 7 then answered esther and said my petition of my request is this if i find favor in thy sight and all that at the end of the day we saw that a man who plot evil against the children of Jews, talking about a man who was destroyed, and his family, all of this came because Esther and the Jews went into fasting and prayer. So each time we go into fasting and prayer, we are sure to be 
Viva to have victory. Then complete that scripture and it's chapter 7 from verse 1 down to 10. Then Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 from verse 1 down to 47. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. What they were doing, they were fasting and praying in one accord. But Jesus said they should tarry and wait for the promise of the Father. And in verse 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. And in verse 3, and he appeared unto them clothed in thongs, like as of fire, and sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues, and the Spirit gave them no trance. There was noise I brought in about six people got up together and said, These guys are drunk. But Peter said, No, these guys are not drunk. He said, This is the promise. Except for Peter standing in verse 14, with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto the new men of Judah and all that dwell in Jerusalem, Be this known unto you, and hearken to my word, he said in verse 15. But these are not drunken, as ye suppose, see it is the third hour of the day, part of a three a.m. in the morning, and verse six. But this is that which was spoken by Prophet Joel, that it shall come to pass in the last days, said the Lord, I will pour out my spirit. In verse 17, upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, said, and your old men shall dream dreams, said in verse 18. And on my servants, and on my hands, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And so at the end of that, so many souls were saved on that day. They were asking Peter, what do we do? He said, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost. But this promise is for you and for your children. And they gladly received the word, and there were about 3,000 souls. And of course, in verse 42, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking bread and in prayers. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. They eat their meat with gladness, singleness of art. Praising God in verse 47, having favor with all people, and the Lord added to the church day as it should. So, this breakthrough upon the church and upon the apostles came by at the altar of fasting and prayer. I pray God grant us understanding of this subject in Jesus' name. Topic one more time fasting and prayer set for a flight. Always look at key text taken from Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 6 down to 11. We'll read that further reading. Esther chapter 4 from verse 8 down to 17. Esther chapter 5, 1 to 8. Esther 7, 1 to 10, and actually the Apostle chapter 2, from verse 1 to 47. Please, I want to beg on you at the leisure time. Read the scriptures. You will certainly be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking, Carl, a mind blower for this morning is genuine fasting to God makes a man's journey to start and faster and glorious. I take that again. Genuine fasting to God makes a man's journey to start and faster and glorious. Think about this. Today, we'll look at the topic. Fasting and prayer sets for our flight. We shall double as our teaching series for the week. So please stay connected with us on this week. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. By introduction, let's know that fasting and prayers indeed makes for a flight. Indeed, it doesn't just make for a flight, for a glorious flight and a glorious landing as well. Below, let's also know that fasting and prayers is not burdensome, as many people think, but a breakthrough weapon in the hands of God's children. Fasting and prayers is God's great agenda for community and visitation of man on the earth. So if any man lives in genuine fasting and prayers to God, he will be visited by God and he will be set on high, he will be set on a flight and he will be set on glory. And I pray you and I, as we set our heart to fast in this beginning of the year, I pray God will set you on high according to his promise in Jesus' name. I pray this year will indeed be a year of exceeding a year of exceeding glory is going to be a year of exceeding flight indeed in Jesus' name. Go and take it to the top of the top in Jesus' name. In Genesis chapter 32, from verse 23 down to 29, and he took them and sent them over to the brook and said over that he had. And in verse 24, and Jacob was left alone, and they arrested him out with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched him, he touched the arrow. Of his tie and the hallow of Jacob's tie was out of joint, and he rested with him. Jacob would not let go, crying for the Lord's what? For the Lord's mercy, for the Lord's hand and blessing. Verse 26 And he said, Let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let you go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall not be called Jacob, but thy name shall be called Israel. For with for thou hast power with God and with men, and have prevailed. And Jacob asked, what is your name? He said, I won't tell you. And he blessed him there. 
The Lord will bless you this month. As you wait upon the Lord in truth and in spirit, the Lord will bless you and turn things around for your sake in Jesus' name. Daniel chapter 3, Daniel chapter 9 from verse 3 down to 14. And I set my faith on the Lord to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ash. And I prayed unto the Lord, God of my, and made my confession and said, O Lord, a great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant of mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. He said in verse 17, Now therefore, O our God, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplication, and cause thy face to shine unto the sanctuary that desolate. The Lord said, As Daniel prayed there, fasted, said in verse 18, O my God, incline thy ear unto, and hear, open thy eyes, and behold our desolation, and the city which is covered in him. Then in verse 19, O Lord, hear, O Lord, forgive, keep praying, keep asking, said for the city, interceding for the city and for his brethren. And in verse 20, and whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people, Israel, and presenting my supplication before the Lord, my God, for the holy mountain of my God, said in verse 21, yeah, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, talking about the angel Gabriel, whom I have seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to flee, to fly swiftly, touch me about the time of the evening of Lation, and verse 22, and he informed me and talked with me and said, Oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give this skill and understanding. This morning, as you fast and pray for the Lord in truth and spirit, God will give you skill and understanding uniquely in Jesus' name. Verse 23, and the beginning of the supplication, the commandment come forth. I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. So each time we fast and pray, we are the beloved of the Lord. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. God will grant you understanding of all things in Jesus' name. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27. Of course, Kings, Second Kings 3, from 17 down to 18. Maybe a leisure time, you can read those scriptures and I pray God will grant you understanding in Jesus' name. Very quickly, we shall be looking at this hot topic how fasting and prayers sets for a flight. How to fasting and prayers set for a flight. We're looking at just one point this morning by waiting it through salvation. How the fasting and prayers sets for a flight by waiting in true salvation. This simply is fasting, praying, and searching scriptures in true salvation and acceptance of Jesus Christ as a Lord of all, which invariably brings one to the remnants a great expert and flight. I take that again. We're looking at subtopic how fasting and prayers set for a flight. We're looking at a point set by waiting. A true salvation when for that say they simply is fasting, praying, and searching scriptures in true salvation and acceptance of Jesus Christ as the Lord of all, which invariably brings one to the realms of great exploit and fly. We see our father Jacob in Genesis chapter 32, from verse 23 down to 29. We see him send his family to the other side, took away every form of destruction. Kept away his phones, all his gadgets, everything you can think of that could distract him as we have in it now. Took them away and he was left alone. He began to pray, Lord, have mercy upon me. I'm going to meet my brother Esau. I don't want him to destroy me and my family. Have mercy. And of course, God appeared. And of course, God blessed him. He said, You have powered with God and with men, and thou have prevailed. He said, Now I've blessed you. Your name will no more be called Jacob or Israel. And what a mighty nation Israel is coming to be today. Of course, in Daniel chapter 9, from verse 3 down to 23, you see the man called Daniel seeking the Lord in fasting and in prayers. And in chapter verse 20, the angel Gabriel appeared to him and said, From the time you set up your heart to pray and to fast, that I have already come down. And we saw the victory that Daniel had. In Esther chapter 4, from verse 8 down to 17, there was a decree from the king at Susa to destroy all the Jews, including Esther. She was the queen. And of course, Mordecai told her, this is the copy of the letter. And she was joking initially, but afterwards she determined to fast and to pray. Said, no one comes to the king and said, the king requests for you to come. However, I will go to the king myself. And in the midst of her fasting and prayer, on the third day, she went to the king. And the king lifted the golden scepter to her. She touched the head of it and began to make her demand. Said, I want to host a feast for him and to be there. And he said, so be it. And of course, a man afterward had prepared a gallop to destroy Mordecai and his family. He took a hole and somewhere they would be hung and all that. At the end of the day, 
in chapter 7 from verse 1 down to 10, we see how the king honor Mordecai and of course Esther make a supplication and of course the king said when we reverse that and he gave Mordecai the letter to write what he wants for the Jews and he wrote everything he said the Jews on top of the top in all the places in the palace of Susan. I was so the great evidence that came by the hand of Esther all of this came caught him fasting and prayers as you seek the Lord Peradventure, your church does not organize fasting and prayer for you know the year, please. You can join me. We've taken up yesterday, it's never late. It's going to be 21 year, 21 this adventure. You can join us. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fruitful. Lord will bless you after what in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 6 down to 11. Mm -hmm. An anchor scripture said, Is this not the fast that I have chosen? It is not the fast that I have commanded. Said to loose the balance of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let your prayers go free, and that you break every yoke. So you can come out of every addiction, you can come out of every challenge of your life, you can come out of every lack of one, you can come out of every indebtedness, you can come out of every hatred. Said it must be a danger that light break forth as the morning, and the hell shall spring forth swiftly, and the righteousness shall go before thee, and the will of the Lord shall be with So many of us are determined to stay righteous all through this year. God will grant you heart desire as you take the garment of righteousness from. This period of fasting and prayer to tarry with you forever in Jesus' name. Verse 9 said, Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer, thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here am I, if thou shalt take away from the midst of thee, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. And verse 11 said, And the Lord shall guide thee continually. This year, you won't lose God's guidance in Jesus' name, and satisfy thy soul out of drought. You can complete that scripture at a leisure time. Acts of the first chapter 2, from verse 1 to 47, we we'll see. Uh, the apostles of Jesus, the disciples of Jesus, waiting on in the upper room, fasting and prayer until the fire of the Holy Ghost came on them. All of this fire had cost you fasting and prayers. Matthew chapter 17, from verse 24 down to 27, we see the mystery of fasting also. He said, in verse 14, and when they were come to the multitude, they had came to him and sat him and kneeling down. I'm saying, Lord, have mercy upon my son. For he is a lunatic. He will fall into fire and into water. And I brought you to your disciples. And verse 16, they could not kill him. And verse 7, you said unto him, said, O fetish and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? Bring the child and brought the child in verse 8. And Jesus rebuked the devil and departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. And in verse 19, then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast out this demon? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, ye have faith as a grain of a monster seed, and ye shall see unto this mountain remove, and yes, the other place said, it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So each time you couple your faith with fasting and prayer, your sure answers and resolve. Look at what you are saying in verse 21, that's what I'm going to say. How be it? This kind going not out, but by prayer and fasting, believe me, there are some addictions you can walk out of it, except you couple your faith. And your baby with fasting. There are some challenges you are going through in life. There are some generational causes that you can't come out of, except you couple that with fasting and prayers. And I pray God will grant you the grace to do that in Jesus' name. One more time, sub topic: How fasting and prayer set for our plan by waiting in true salvation. We say this simply is fasting, praying, and searching scriptures in true salvation and acceptance of Jesus Christ, the Lord of all, which it brings one to the realm of what realm of great exploit and flight. You can read Genesis chapter 32 from verse 20 to 29, not Daniel chapter 9 from verse 3 to 23, Esther 4, 8 to 17, Esther 5, 1 to 8, Esther 7, 1 to 10, Isaiah 58, 6 to 11, Acts 2, 1, 47, Matthew 17, 24, down to 27. Lastly, let's know that fasting and prayers is God's agenda for communicating with his beloved children. God is ready to set us on high if we are willing to, if we are willing and ready to align according to his plan. However, fasting and prayers in salvation is key to obtaining answers from God. On this note, I charge you to accept and to confess Jesus in truth today so, you, so, so that your fasting and prayers won't be in vain. And I pray at the end of this 21 days adventure, your fasting and prayer will never be in vain in Jesus' name. I want to pray with you. I want you to bow ahead and pray this prayer. But before then, look at Isaiah 58, 6 to 9 said, Is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the path of forgiveness to undo the heaven bodies and to let your prayers go free and that you break every yoke? You can come out of every yoke. He said, 
then shall the light break forth as a morning, and the hell shall spring forth green. All trees here, you will take a pillow upon it all in Jesus' name. As I 16, verse 21, down 22 said, Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my plant, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. You will abide righteous all through this year in Jesus' name. Verse 22 said, A little one shall become a thousand, a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten to perform. I, the Lord, will hasten in his time. But remember this one, come to pass. Said you are buying righteousness. Come, Corinthians chapter 5 17. They have written anyone being Christ, the new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. All things are of God who have reconciled us to Himself by Jesus Christ and have given us the ministry of reconciliation. You want to say yes to Jesus? Place your hand on your chair, bow it. I say, Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner, forgiving my sins. I know if I shall die right now, I'm going to go to hell. But right now, forgive my sins, Jesus. Wash me with your blood, write me in the book of life, grant me grace to please your days of my life, grant me the grace to fast and to pray in truth and spirit. Thank you for hearing me. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We take two prayers for prayer, Father. Jesus, I confess you to be my Lord and Savior. Empower me to remain in you forever, so that my personal prayers will remain productive forever. In Jesus' name, Isaiah 58, from verse 6 to 9. So pray that the Lord said, this is not the fast I've chosen to lose the fast of forgiveness, turn to the heaven for this, to let your praise go free, and that you break every law, then shall the light break forth, and the hell shall spring forth speedily. With this understanding, they say, Father, Jesus, I confess you to be my Lord and Savior. Empower me to remain.